Okay, I'm going to cover the assembler. So, you can, uh, there are three um, three assembler uh, situations. You can have uh, <coughs> you can have an assembly block inside of a C function. You can have an assembly block outside of a C function, or you can even have uh, just instructions. Um, it it's smart enough that when an opcode starts a, a statement, it knows it's a uh, uh, assembly instruction. So uh, you'll frequently see uh, in my uh, in the operating system code, you'll frequently see uh, I equals zero I less than one. No, let's just do that. F5. No, let's see. Okay. So uh, let's unassemble that. Unassemble function main. So uh, there's the push push flags. Clear interrupts that turns them off. Set up the for loop. Do the for loop. Pop the flags. So if you know what the stack is doing, you can mess with it. But uh, you have to know what you're doing. That's dangerous. But if you're a, I do it all the time. Anyway, so uh, if you have an assembly uh, block by itself. Um, This is, uh, let's say, uh, define in other assembly assemblers, you say define byte. Well, in this operating system, it's define U8. And then uh, we have a string, um, but it's not zero terminated. You have to zero terminate it. So uh, now we uh, define. Now I have a convention. This is this is not mandatory, although I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> I might as well just say it's mandatory. Uh, you uh, you put an underscore if it's C callable. So uh, I normally uh, follow the standard, uh, the old-fashioned. Um, stack frame. So uh, um, now uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, call put move RSI. So uh, we have to preserve RSI. Um, I can tell you which registers you have to preserve. Um, so, in between C instructions, you can clobber AX, CX, DX. In, basically, you can always clobber these, except not RBP and RSP. A, B, C, and D you can clobber. A to 9 you can clobber. Um, but you have to preserve RSI, RDI, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 12, 13, and you have to preserve RBP, RSP. So uh, we have to preserve uh, our RSI. Um, I don't know where we want to put it. We can put it here. Uh, well, that was almost catastrophic. My video dies if I crash. So that would have been bad. Okay, so uh, so uh, we have a function. Um, this is a uh, in in assembly. You basically have labels, and uh, they're in when you mix them with C, they look like uh, just numbers. Call calls a number. So I just did hello world and it worked. 
you might want a new line a couple new lines now we do it again we got that we can put a couple new lines in the beginning okay so uh, to unassemble you can say unassemble my function this is just a number so uh, what do we have here um, we have uh, there's the function it's got um, put string now uh, uh, you might find a situation where you have to say import, uh, like for example, put chars. Um, we're going to do an alternative. Uh, okay, so um, one colon is not exported, two colons is exported. It's an exported symbol, okay? Um, Okay, we're going to call put chars. Um, let's let's call the. Uh, um, this is a C function. So uh, <clears throat> um, we're going to pass one parameter. So uh, we have we're going to move. Let's go ahead and put it in RAX. Now we put. Uh, how about that? Let me say push rax. Now uh, these um, the standard is to use the uh, pop return. Um, okay. Now uh, let's let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll explain it. Okay. Okay. So it printed hello question mark. I'm a little bit nervous. If I crash, I'm dead. Anyway, okay, so uh, <clears throat> so if we don't have this, I oh, I better not do that. It might crash. Um, the alternative is to put an ampersand. That also works. The safest is to do an import. So the the you say import put charge and you put a semicolon you do a, a comma list and then a semicolon and um, and then you're free to use it um, <clears throat> so uh, if you have a uh, you can use local labels um, add at one you can even renumber watch this control shift L oh let's go ahead and um, let's loop at at one how about if you're if you're move rcx5 uh, we have to preserve it it's, it'll get clobbered oh I have to oh, I almost screwed that up didn't I paying attention okay pop rcx okay so uh, watch this. Control Shift L. Renumber assembly local labels for function. Now it just changed it to five. It goes by fives: five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So um, a lo uh, every. Uh, Okay, every, uh, every time you have a double colon, that makes a new section. And then you can add repeated uh, local labels. Okay, so a double colon is, is an export, and it's a new section. Single is not exported, and it's not a new section. Okay, add at, add at is a local label. Um, So uh, let's go ahead and now there's a more sophisticated way that was raw. Uh, these uh, these labels are like raw numbers. Um, you can bind them with an extern um, ex extern unders underscore extern will bind a uh, an assembly label with a uh, 
with the C function header. So this has no args. Um, and then we can use, uh, we can say function one. Oh, my function. My function one. I'm very nervous. I already lost a video because I crashed it. Okay. So, uh, this is more normal. Okay. So, uh, there's one more thing. Uh, we we want to cover class. My struct. Okay, so if we have a class U8 name 32 U8 uh, address 32. Um, to do that, uh, uh oh, what do we want to do? Let's just go ahead and uh, move rax, comma, my struct, my struct. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, no, let's. My struct dot address, and then we say call put uh, hex u64 this is rax it preserves registers that I have a handful of uh, assembly useful functions <coughs> there's a few assembly callable functions um, not very many um, this we're going to print out rax and uh, let's go ahead and move our AX comma carriage return call uh, put chars. So I do believe uh, is this going to work? We're going to print the offset number and then printing carriage return. I hope I don't crash it. Okay, we printed 20. That's hexadecimal for 20. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do a parameter. Um, how about count? I64 I count. Okay, now um, move RCX count. Okay, now there's some, these are very important. SF stack frame, stack frame arg123. Stack frame arg one two three f r b p. Okay, so uh, now I say push r c x pop r c x loop at at one at at one. I hope I don't crash anything. Oh, I almost crashed it. Holy. Okay. Okay. Function one. Okay, we printed the number twice. That, this is a stupid program. I'm sorry for a stupid example. Okay, so um, let me explain. This is an opcode, a funny opcode. Um, go to the compiler directory in the opcodes file, and uh, there you will find all my opcodes. Um, I don't. I didn't enter all the opcodes. There's uh, no MMX, no SSE. Um, let's look for return one. Okay, so there's a return, and then there's a return one that has a uh, a uh, count. Um, excuse, this is not for me. Anyway, so uh, uh, so. Um, let me explain why I did this. If you if you look at uh, mul, there's a uh, there's a two argument multi integer multiply and there's a one argument integer multiply. Um, the reason I I deambiguous 
I make it deambiguous is because I use the same compiler lex. The lexical analyzer breaks these up into pieces, and uh, it's the same as the C. We are, this, so this is just like C code. Uh, this is exactly the same lexical analyzer as C. So it doesn't recognize, there's nothing special about a carriage return, just like a C program. So what I had to do is I had, I had a problem. If, if I just said return 8 like this, then I wouldn't know that there was an argument. So I have to say return 1, 8. This is a little known, this pops the stack. This pops 8 off the stack. That's, be, that's to get rid of the parameter that was pushed. And this is the convention that my um, functions use. Except variable parameter count doesn't use that. Anyway, so uh, uh, so I think I covered everything. Um, now there's a dollar sign if you if you want. You can say dollar sign dollar sign equals ten. That's a ten, not a sixteen. Okay, now let's see what we have. 2a okay so uh dollar sign dollar i think how do you align oh i guess you have to do it this way equals dollar sign dollar sign ampersand minus or tilt tilde seven so this is how you align 28 so 10 plus 32 is uh 2a oh uh, then it um it well, you don't want that Anyway, you just do the math. 30. So, um, there's a, uh, sometimes I put a pad, U0 pad. Now, what that is, is, uh, the, when it's lexing, unfortunately, it's a symbol ahead. So, if I say, insert dollar sign, dollar sign, ampersand 7 not dollar sign dollar sign ampersand 7 this is to make sure it's aligned if I do this uh, my assert by the way is a pre-compiler that prints a message if it's false that's how we learned it in my class it's not a runtime assert not a runtime assert anyway uh, I think what I do is uh, I do a pad because uh, it um, it's it's lagging a symbol. It, this is really ugly, but my compiler in this particular case lags a symbol. In other words, it's uh, it hasn't gotten caught up at this point, so you have to do a a, a no op. That's what this is. Um, anyway, you'll see that in in the header. Anyway, um, let's see if we have any other. Um, Oh, there, I might as well tell you about, uh, okay, I might as well tell you about uh, DU8 uh, dupe, um, you say 10, 10 dupe, uh, I guess we can put anything, how about uh, A? Let's see what that does. And then we put a exported my data. And then we put a dump. That's just a symbol. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this. Dump my data. So we have 41, we have a bunch of A's. And uh, how about DU16? Uh, let's do CD. Let's see what happens. Okay, so A A A A A A A C D C D C D. Okay, so you get the idea. Let's see if I covered all the uh, assembler uh, directives. I think it's in directives. Uh oh. Holy C, where did I? Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Guidelines? 
No, we, we want, uh, let's say, find direct. I'm just going to do this quickly. Find directory. Okay, compiler overview. Well, that's pretty. Okay, include a pound DXE and doesn't um, executes code at compile time. Let's see, here's the assembler. Um, so I told you about the dollar sign label defines an export global. It's also a new section. It also marks a new section. Finds a non-exported add at the local du8 d. Okay, I forgot use. There's import. List is kind of broken. Oh, I can, you can align. Not in a structure, by the way. Um, that's only limited. You don't. You can't really align. Oh, by the way, you you do not. You do not have the right to tell where the code goes. That is not your option. Um, you do not have the right to tell where the code goes. Um, I made an exception. Uh, let's see. Module org. Uh, I don't even know how this works. Let's see. 0x. Uh, I'm going to put it just in some safe memory that I know exists. Uh, DU8. Uh, one, oh. Let's see what this does. Module org. Okay. Now let's dump 0x. This is just some crazy apps. Okay, so I, it did work. Okay, so you can specify where it goes, but you really shouldn't be doing that. Okay.